Here we have a table of rate of change and we're going to try to figure out what the total change is. This is very similar to when we are looking at a table of velocities and going towards distance. It's just a slightly different kind of interpretation, right? So in this example we have t in years and this rate down here, this is the rate of change of bears per year. So what this 0, 10 is saying is that at time equals 0, the number of bears is increasing by 10 bears per year. At time equals 3, the number of bears is increasing by 8 bears per year. Kind of a terrifying idea, right? But this is what our problem's about. So we want to find an over and underestimate for the total change in the bear population over the next, not 8 years, over the next 9 years. So how are we going to start this? We actually want to start it exactly like we did with velocity and distance. So our overestimate, what we're going to do is we're just going to look at those same time intervals we were looking at before. So basically, we'll say between t equals 0 and t equals 3, what happens? What happens between t equals 0 and t equals 3? Well, my population is increasing by 10 bears per year. And so I'll say total change. or by 10 bears per year, and I'm doing that for three years, so I my population increased by 30 bears. And so notice what it's asking for here is an overestimate. So I just, I just used this 10 without really talking about it, but when it says overestimate, basically when we have a choice between two numbers, we want to pick the bigger one. All right, so that's going to change a little bit later on whether we use the left or the right one. So between t equals 3 and t equals 4, what's our total change going to be? Well, we're looking in this interval, and we're going for an overestimate, so we can either pick 8 or 6, so we're just going to say it's changing at 8 bears per year, and it's going to do that for one year. And so our total change in this case is 8 bears. Now if we're going from t equals 4 to t equals 6. Let's be careful here. So this is two years. This is happening over two years. But what rate are we going to use? Remember we want an overestimate. So we can either pick 6 or 8. And since we want an overestimate, we're going to pick the larger estimate of the rate of change of bears. So we're going to say over those two years, our population increases by 16 bears. And then finally, from t equals 6 to t equals 9, What's our total change in the bear population going to be? Well, we want an overestimate, and we're looking at that interval. So we will pick 8, and it's going to happen for 3 years. So we'll say over those 3 years, our population increases by 24 bears. And so if we add all this up to get our absolutely total change, we will get 30 plus 8 plus 16 plus 24. Over here we have 40, so 70, so we have 70 eight bears. So between t equals zero and t equals nine, our population increased by 78 bears. It's a lot of bears. I would not want to live where this is happening. Now, so the next part of this problem asks us for an underestimate and the total change in bears. So this is, this is, this is our worst case scenario. Is our best case scenario kind of any better? So we're going to use these same intervals here. So I'm just going to kind of copy paste this thing again. And what we will see is that we'll be changing these numbers here, these 10, 8, 8, 8. We'll be changing those numbers. And so let's paste this in there, move it down here. So again, the numbers that are changing are here. And so between t equals 0 and t equals 3, I want to pick the lowest number I could use. All right, so rather than 10, like I picked here, I'm going to say, well, it's changing at 8 bears per year. And so I'll put an 8 there. And between t equals 3 and t equals 4, what number would I use? Well, I want to use the lowest number possible between these two. And so that'll be a 6. Between t equals 4 and t equals 6, again, I want to use the lowest number possible. It's not necessarily going to be the left or the right. And that will also be a 6. And then between t equals 6 and t equals 9, I want to use the lowest number possible, not necessarily the left or the right, and the lowest number possible here is 1. All right, and so if I calculate my total changes here, 
I will get 24 for the first one, I will get 6 for the second one, 12, and 3. And so how much better is this? Well, it's saying my total change in the bear population would be 24 plus 6 plus 12 plus 1, which will give me a total of 36, 42, so 43 bears. Now, so this is kind of, we have an overestimate and an underestimate so far of my change in the bear population. And for part C, which I didn't write here, we could be asked to average them together, kind of like a, a slightly better estimate. And so for that, obviously, you would just do 78 plus 43 over 2, which is going to be 125 over 2. And you can turn that into a decimal if you would like. But again, just the same ideas as before. You look in these intervals. You look for basically an interval width and an interval height. And you kind of say, well, the change in this interval was 30 bears. That's the, that's the highest estimate I can give. The lowest estimate I could give would be 24. And sorry for this egregious math error here. This was not 125. This was 121.